I am most definitely a pet lover. I have had a cat or a dog or sometimes both in my life since I was three years old. I do believe that animals do become a part of the family, and real pet lovers don't consider them property, but instead a family member. And I'm so glad that there are animal rights groups and animal laws to help better protect them. Whether you are an owner of a pet or not, we have all heard about the abuse of animals. I normally would not make an entire video about the abuse of dogs unless I felt people really needed to know what's going on when it comes to our four-legged fairy friends. I actually have not heard of something I'm about to discuss in this video regarding animals and I'm wondering if you have heard it. So this is a warning. This video does talk about bestiality and other animal cruelties. I will not show any pictures or videos of the animals being tortured in any manner at all. Mind you, this was decades ago and I remember I was surfing the internet. And you know, when you surf the internet long enough, it always brings you somewhere that you shouldn't be. And now I have these images etched in my head for the rest of my life. I remember seeing this really overweight Caucasian man. He was in some kind of beady SM outfit. He had an all leather down to his midriff and he was bent over and you seen his big white ass and i remember the german shepherd was just going at it and i remember thinking to myself there must be people in the room that have like a gun on him making him do this another video i had seen it was of these two black girls they were young probably in their early 20s and they were both having sex with either a pony or a small horse. And my young self was thinking they must be on some type of drugs and desperate for money to be doing this. Now, decades later, I see that there's no gun. There's no drugs. People are just fucking sick. Aventura, Florida. Dr. Prentice Madden graduated from Tuskegee University College of Veterinary Medicine. He was now working as the hospital's medical director at Caring Hands Animal Clinic in Aventura. He was such an honored, highly regarded, and well-liked doctor there. When this news got out, people were floored. They were in disbelief. How could Dr. Madden be involved in such a horrible crime? He was caring for service dogs, stray dogs. He was a dog owner himself. People had been referring others to the vet clinic he practiced at because he was doing such phenomenal great work. People had actually named their own pets after Dr. Madden. Now, let me tell you about Dr. Madden's downfall and how everything literally came crashing in on him. Madden used a Dropbox share, a service that you can send and receive pictures and videos online. He became very comfortable with this service. So comfortable, he was sending and receiving child porn quite often. Over 1,500 images were found. They were all of underage children, preferably boys. He liked to watch adults, adult men, having sex with male toddlers. He was also sexually exploiting our four-legged friends. That's right. Madden was also involved in animal crush videos. It depicts harming animals for sexual gratification or while being sexually gratified, an animal will be directly in distress. And you will obviously know it. Madden was sharing these videos to a third party. And Madden was starring in them. Yep, 
Dr. Madden starring and creating these Animal Crush videos. And you could clearly see him performing sexual acts on these animals. Some of these videos were filmed at his home and others at a vet clinic. The animals that were identified, the owners were called. That must have been a very heartbreaking conversation to hear that your beloved family pet was sexually violated by the trusted vet. The U.S. Attorney's Office had not released any of the images of the dogs that were being sexually abused, to my understanding, at that time. Madden was also in a sexual relationship with a 15-year-old boy. So, this man was doing the most. I have found no information if Madden was married, if he was, and they didn't know about this sick internet crime that he was involved in. I'm pretty sure they were disgusted when they found out. There was actually a dog named Pamela Anderson that Madden had taken in after the owner died. People had worried what happened to her. It's believed that he said he was trying to find her home, but now they think that he may have kept the dog for his own sick interests. Madden also owned a Shih Tzu named Luck. No idea what happened to Luck. Madden, who was considered a hero, a pet owner, an animal activist, and a person who cared and loved animals and worked long hours to take care of them, he turned out just to be a disgusting person, a horrible veterinarian. And he was the worst one so far in Florida. He did receive 22 years. Have you heard of Whitney, Wisconsin? Well, if you haven't, I'm going to unfortunately tell you a little bit about her. Not long ago, Whitney, Wisconsin, her real name is Amy Lynn Liu. And she's from... Eau Claire, Wisconsin? Well, she had a YouTube page and it actually went viral. It was titled something like 10 Reasons Why a Girl Should Fuck Her Dog and she listed the reasons. Oh, you don't believe me? Well, just look for yourself. So today I'm going to be doing my video on 10 reasons why I think women should have sex with dogs. Um, reason number one, Women in history have practiced it. There have been documented cases of ancient Romans and Greeks, in Greeks, I'm sorry, ancient Romans and Greeks practicing it for pleasure. Reason number two, dogs' tongues can get in very hard to reach places and it can feel amazing. <laughs> Reason number three, you cannot get pregnant. It is impossible for a dog to impregnate a human, meaning you can have sex 24 seven, risk free. <laughs> Reason number four, you cannot get an STD, which is a huge thing nowadays. Also, she would describe her many sex acts with the many different breeds of dogs. She had been with every one of them sexually. Everything from a beagle to a German shepherd. She added that pit bulls were her favorite to have intercourse with. She talked about friends loaning their animals to her for sex and even friends joining in. And she reminisces about a threesome with a bulldog and a friend of hers. She has Facebook accounts and fan pages and Twitter, if you're into this shit. She has a good number of supporters as well. I mean, people will support anything. People were actually posting pictures, smiling with their animals, like me too, in support of her because they were having sex with their pets too. If she wasn't screwing a friend's pet, she was rubbing her vagina on her inner arm and telling unsuspecting men in Walmart to smell it, saying it was a perfume sample and thinking that this was funny, but it was really gross to me and it was being recorded. She even video herself drinking 
a dog, her dog, someone's dog's piss, saying it was good for acne. Okay, you still don't believe me? Well, check it out. Men were performing oral sex on her in public and it was being recorded. I don't know if they knew that they were being recorded, but she would then sell these videos to websites and I guess that's how she would earn some of her money. And I believe there was an incident where a man claimed that he didn't know he was being recorded. I'm not sure. She said that she tried to have a legit job, but when someone recognized her, she immediately got fired. I mean, that's understandable. I mean, do you really want her bringing you your tuna salad sandwich and Diet Coke at a restaurant? Probably not. So I watched Miss Wisconsin in a threesome. It was a Caucasian girl and a black guy. I'm like, do these people know who she is and what she does? Well, of course they do. Oh, I see. The black guy starring in this porno is actually her fiance, or at least was her fiance at the time. And his name was Irio Sherrod Oliver. He was also the cameraman and the love of her life. Oliver was also arrested on child porn charges and one count of intimidation of a witness. He was sentenced to three years in prison and he actually should be getting out shortly if he's not out already. So as you can see, there is somebody for everybody. This is so interesting. While I was putting together this video, a verdict had came in and it's about the man that I'm about to talk about now out of Shreveport, Louisiana. Police officer Terry Yetman, 38, would turn himself in. He was an officer in the patrol division in Bossier City Police Department since 2014. Special Victims Unit obtained a warrant for his electronic device after receiving a tip. His Apple iCloud account was investigated. He had animal porn on it. And also on his device, Yetman himself was engaged in sex with his own dog. Countless of sexual abuse towards his dog. Anything he could do with a woman, he was doing with this dog. The dog is now at the rescue organization, I guess in Louisiana. Yetman received an honorable award back in 2018 for the department. The award was for his outstanding efforts in protective rights against domestic violence victims. And look here, there was also child porn on his phone as well. Yetman described how he wanted to have sex with boys and girls. He liked the really young ones, the ones like five and six, the ones where the boys and girls, if they were naked, they can somewhat, you can't really tell if it was a boy or a girl. He was really in to something like that. He received a used pair of underwear from a suspect's seven-year-old daughter. So this woman gave this man these used underwear. And then Yetman would take it to a known child abuser and give him the underwear. And pretty much Lord knows what happened there. This man may have had a wife, they say, but the wife was 10 years older than him and she passed away in 2008. She left a son from that marriage and he also has three daughters from a previous marriage. Terry Yetman did receive 20 years. This is for the animal abuse and this is for the, the child porn that was on his phone. As I research this sickening topic, it's hundreds of different cases. I mean, hundreds. An article 
actually said that this is happening way more than we think it's happening. I refuse to let them try to normalize this because it's not okay. Doing your pet, a goat, a sheep, a chicken, anything, it's not okay. Doing a child, a blood family member, and I don't care if you're an adult, taking advantage of people with special needs and older people with Alzheimer's and dementia. If you don't have any sexual boundaries in your life, you will do anything.